Hello, I'm Dr. Roger Lum, Director of San Diego County's Health and Human Services Agency. I'm very pleased to introduce the Faces of CalWORKS, which tells the story of San Diego County's CalWORKS program and people in it. In this video, you see the faces of many people who are here to help. These include CalWORKS case managers, social workers, job developers, and our partners community who provide an array of services, which include job preparation and skills training. They also provide counseling services to those suffering from substance abuse, mental health problems, or domestic violence. They help many parents overcome barriers that interfere with their ability to find and keep a job. Before I came to the CalWORKS program, I was in a bad domestic violence uh, relationship with my, my children's father. Before my self-esteem was very low, you know, I just thought about just doing a bunch of bad stuff. I have two children, so I have to, I have to wonder what they're going to stay at at night because I know it's cold out there. My family and I, we really did get displaced. We had no place to go. We ended up in a shelter. I was trying to find a job. I couldn't find any because of, because of me being in jail. Ended up getting my children taken away and had to really look deep to see what, what kind of a life I was giving my children. And I would sleep in the front seat because I had a back injury. My daughter was in the back seat. My husband would sleep on the hood. I didn't know how to work. I've never worked before in my life. A helping hand for a step forward. A helping hand can bring you so far. CalWORKS is giving and receiving. But the soul Hello, my name is Diana Francis, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about the CalWORKS program. In 1996, Congress created a welfare program whose goal was to provide temporary assistance to families on their road to self-sufficiency. In California, this program is known as CalWORKS. CalWORKS provides supportive services and financial assistance to those families in need. And in return, we ask either that the parents be employed or be looking for work. And we have a lot of supportive services that can be used to help these families reach their goals. To determine eligibility for CalWORKS assistance, your first stop is the closest family resource center. Here, you will meet with an information assessment and referral worker. I'm Mrs. Castillo, and what I'm here to do is a quick assessment of your application and set you up with your appointments, okay? Okay. And it's just you, your wife, and two children? Yeah. Okay. And During this meeting and throughout your time in the CalWORKS program, we are committed to honoring your confidentiality. Is there anything else? We'll review your you form for immediate assistance needs and provide you referrals and an appointment with an eligibility technician. I'm going to give you your appointment for tomorrow at 8.45. Now both you and your wife need to be present, okay? And this is a general list of what we require. You need to bring your birth certificates, social security cards, rent receipt. You put here counseling? Um, oh yes, uh, I have a little drinking problem. Okay. So uh, I wouldn't mind some help. Okay, so I can refer you for that and maybe they can help you out, okay? Okay. You find that many people who are working in the CalWORKS program have been on public assistance themselves and have been through hard times and therefore they understand what you are going through and they're respectful and caring. Hi. Hey, Good afternoon. Are you Johnny? Yes. Hi, I'm Gina Richardson. I'm a social worker here for the county. Okay, I see that you are Some of the things that the alcohol. service coordinator may see them for will be domestic we violence, have a really good program here, um, drug or alcohol abuse, homelessness, so or a immediate need for food. This brochure describes that program and several other programs which are located here in the South Bay also. This is my card. 
And please feel free to call me if you have any questions or if you need any more information, okay? Okay, okay good luck to you. Thanks. Bye. When they come in the following day, they will see an intake eligibility technician who will do a detailed review of their application to determine if they are eligible. Today. I'll be going over the papers you already filled out, checking the verifications. We have people who come in who they're very nervous and they're very scared because this is their first time ever doing anything like this. And I understand that because I myself have been in that situation. If everything goes well, we'll open up your case. And after the case is open, you're going to receive a letter in the mail inviting you to an orientation for welfare to work. You want to go to this. I myself was on public assistance five years ago. Now I am working with the CalWORKs program and I'm going to school and I will have a degree in December that will allow me to promote to a social worker. Please do not feel bad about where you've been. No need to stress out, no need to hide. When I first got to CalWORKs, I thought that I was gonna have this person that said, now you need to go look for a job and then we're not gonna help you, but you need to find employment when this certain amount of time. But then I, when I got there and actually got started, I found all the help and assistance. There was no way that I could say I can't do it. When I first came to CalWORKs, I had a bad attitude, um, negative. I didn't want to be there. Um, two days after being there, I realized that I really needed a job. I wanted a job. I had a one-year-old son who I needed to provide for and I still need to provide for so I had to change my attitude into a positive attitude you know I wanted to be the best that I could be for my son and for myself when clients come in often they're resistant to the program thinking that we're there just to enforce rules on them but once they get involved in activities like Job Club where we teach them how to interview, teach them how to write a resume, and help them with a job search, they see that the goal is really to make them self-sufficient and find long-term permanent employment that they can survive off of. So we're going to start writing resume. And then we have a format here. All you gotta do is fill that up. Now, how do you grab them right from the beginning? The first and seconds, what's the best way to do it? Smile. Great, smile. Can we all just smile? Smile, everybody. <laughs> Just smile. 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 Doesn't that just feel good just to smile? We teach them many aspects of life skills. We teach them how to prepare for interviews. We even uh, uh, give them or buy for them outfits, interview outfits if they don't have. We help them with their resumes and we help them through how to go through an interview process. So basically what we do is we prepare people for life. Good, good, good. Also, you want a firm but gentle handshake, all right? You don't want to break the person's hand, hand, okay? You don't want to break their hand, but you also want to let them know that you're here for business. Good morning, hi, I'm Derek. Good morning, my name's Kelly. Good handshake. Hi, I'm Derek. Hi, I'm Virginia. Okay, good morning. Firm it up just a little bit, there you go. Good morning. The transformation is incredible. I've seen mothers who have several children and not ever worked come into our system reluctantly and after one week of job club let us know that tearfully this is the first thing that I've ever accomplished. My self-esteem has gone way up and get out there and actually get a job. We're going to be interviewing about six other people for this position. Um, why should we hire you over them? Because I got the skills, I think with my qualifications on my resume, I think I'm suitable for the job, okay. and I know I can do it. Okay. Monday was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna be here from nine to four, just goofing off, listening to someone tell me what to do. Friday, totally different, totally different. I was positive, I was ready to go out and do interviews. I had my resume put together well, I met new friends, and just we just kind of talked back and forth about what we wanted to do. We just helped each other's self-esteem, so it was really positive and I enjoyed it. When I first got into the classroom, I was like, okay, okay, I'm learning this and how is this gonna help me in an interview and what am I gonna do? And 
can't believe this. I can't remember all this stuff. It's gonna be too hard. I, I won't be able to keep it together. And by Friday, I was able to, as I say, sashay into the interview and know that all eyes were gonna be on me and that how I spoke and how my body language was and how I talked was gonna win me the interview. So, and then they want somebody that has obviously great customer service, <laughs> able to express. When I go to an interview, I go in there positive. I don't put my head down, slouch my back. I go in there standing, standing high and knowing that I'm gonna get it. Knowing that it's me that they want, not, not the old me, it's me. It's the new person that they made out of me. They were actually pretty cordial with me and friendly. They helped me out with anything that I didn't understand. And they didn't, they didn't just look down on me as, you know, being someone who just got out of jail. You know, they, they actually looked at me, you know, just like a regular person, I guess, you would say. When I started, I was in the warehouse, uh, basically just washing towels and helping to unload trucks when they got, when they came in. But um, I've since went from upholstery technician to a building technician, to an equipment technician, to now I'm the senior technician, so. I, I never had a job. I was always, I'm not even gonna lie, I was always in trouble, you know. So this is really the first job that I ever had, and um, it actually turned out to be something that I like doing, so that was good, it worked for me. One of the ways that the CalWORKS program helps participants become gainfully employed is by paying for childcare. For many, this is the key to finding and keeping a good job. When I went to CalWORKS, they told me that they would pay for my childcare. And I could pick anyone who I wanted to watch my son. So I felt comfortable with my mother watching him and they was fine with that and they paid my mother for watching my son. I have three children and one of my children requires counseling, he's 15 years old, but my two younger ones require daycare. So it's really nice to know that there's um, a program that will assist me in paying my daycare without having to move my children from their daycare provider right now because she's a wonderful lady and loves them very much. They help you pay for it, they help you find it, they help you check the background of the people. They have a lot of good um, ideas on things that you need. Come on, Cornell. Oh, yeah, so you can join us. Tina is uh, one of our employees from the CalWORKS program. And Tina started out as an assistant cook about two years ago. And now she's a credential teacher. He's checking, look at it. He's checking a beautiful picture. When you're on welfare, it's, it's hard. You don't get that much money. And me paying, I'm a single parent. I have two kids. So here, it's better. I mean, it, I, feel, I feel real good. Things have changed in my life. I'm much happier. <laughs> I have um, two sons. I didn't really know what kind of example I was setting for them because I kept, you know, getting in and out of trouble, not having any job, trying to hustle to make money just so we could pay bills. But since I've been here, um, I've been able to, you know, set a good example for my kids to show them that it's good to work, not always just trying, you know, hustle on the streets. It's good to work. And, you know, by me being responsible and getting up and coming to work every day, I'm showing my sons that, so that way now they're doing the same things in school. They're not, you know, slacking off in school. They're showing the same responsibilities that I'm showing. Yes, you will teach them how to live with pride. I notice a difference in all my kids. They're happy. It's like, okay, mom's, mom's going out there. She's going to get a job, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do that. I notice that when I do good, my kids do good. My daughter's doing great in school. My six-year-old son is doing great in school, too. You may have troubles that hold you back. You need some help to get back on track. CalWORKS will give you all the tools that you can use.
I'm going to tell you something about addiction. It's not a moral issue. It's not a moral disease. People who have a substance abuse problem or an alcohol abuse problem are not bad people. Uh, we provide a number of services to the CalWORKs participants, and one of them is a drug education presentation that we do while they're attending job clubs. I have never met someone who's getting treatment for drugs or alcohol who said one day, gee, I think I want to be an addict. I've never and during this, one of our staff members will go in and talk about the nature of substance abuse, because many of the participants might not really understand what a problem is, and they may be in denial. So this education class is very helpful. We get a lot of people, uh, they hear this presentation and a couple weeks later they decide that yes, I do have a problem and yes, I do want help for it. We're going to be doing a substance abuse screening to see where you're at as far as having some barriers in your life that might be preventing you from seeking and gaining employment. Now treatment can be a very broad range of services from residential where they live full time, sometimes they can live with their children in residential. There's outpatient treatment where they go several times a week. And there's detox where they just go for maybe up to 15 days and clean the drugs out of their system. And we also get them involved with 12-step programs. So there's a whole range of treatment options. And during the assessment, we determine what's right for the individual. <laughs> The clients who come to CalWORKs are actually here because they've lost jobs and losing a job can have a very profound effect on your psyche such as it can cause depression or anxiety or um, just making you feel overwhelmed with the prospect of, of finding another job. So part of, our, um, part of our responsibility here is to help those clients break that cycle um, so that they can actually feel supported enough to go out and seek jobs. Well, I was having a lot of trouble with paying my bills, with um, being able to provide food for my daughter and uh, child care for her while I was working. And it would get really bad where I wouldn't be able to sleep real well at night. It's a matter of taking each CalWORKs client and figuring out what, what barriers are in their way of becoming successful um, and helping them to reach their highest potential. I came here when my husband, he used to beat me up, humiliate me in front of people. And I came here really stressful, lo so low esteem. And um, I felt like I, I needed something, somebody to I could trust and somebody to help me. When people come in with problems such as domestic violence, uh, they're in abusive situations. First thing we look at is their safety and uh, make it, making safety plans with them, giving them an out and showing them that there is a way out. I was on welfare years back and they would give you just a check, you know, and they didn't have this kind of program on giving you a job. And coming here now is like a big difference because they do help you out on giving you money to get by monthly basis, but they're even helping you now get a job, you know, and have a good future. There is hope for me today to achieve, to become a better person than I was before. I moved up quick. I work hard. I'm really good with people. I'm happy that I have a job, you know, and I can support my kids. I was honest and they helped me and I wasn't ashamed anymore. I could get help and still, you know, better my life and get my kids back. I got hired as a loan counselor at Chase Manhattan Mortgage. The man basically told me you have the job. We are doing so much better and I really do believe it was because of the CalWORKs program. You know, getting up early in the morning is hard but it's something you gotta do, not only for yourself but for your family, your kids.
the soul of Cal.